All right, so this is uh, called the Magic Eye Show, coming up really quick. And uh, we'll take a figure here, uh, and we'll, uh, she's very attractive. However, we'll make her more attractive by adding a little eyeball on her. All right, so remember from uh, the portrait assignment, following the same rules as that for most of it. Except for when it comes to color, there are a few changes that you have to make. First of all, I'll map out where the eye goes. I'll go like here to there. And then if you remember right, we went up kind of fast in the beginning. Then we came down. So, milk the kitten, queen edge. I'll give her kind of large eyes so you can see it better. Then I'll swing down, nice and slow. And I'm outlining it right now in uh, just the uh, black and brown, like a glaze. <clears throat> black, brown, and some coffee juice. Because I dipped my brush in coffee. The bottom section here is gonna start off kind of flat, flatter than what he had. Then I'll come up near the end a little bit. You can see how flat the bottom is, and it's more raised up here. <clears throat> all right, so all we're doing right now is starting with an outline. And up here, I'll give her some heavy eyelids. Bulk of the meat of the eyelids is gonna be right here. And let it kind of level out. And haze down here a little bit. Most of it's over there though. All right, then I'll like uh, shake in some of the skin tone here around it so you can see it better. This is getting a little confusing for me. I'll do a little raw sienna. <clears throat> Make the skin tone a little magenta. Right now, it looks like there's like three different eyeballs here. Although that could be kind of cool. I don't think I'm gonna change her nose though, or her mouth. I love the mouth. Okay. Ugh, there we go. The paint's kind of on me. All right, so right here, this is underneath the eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get rid of that blue eyeball that I have in there. And this is a small, bright brush. All I'm doing is blocking out where basic values are going. So this will be kind of dark in here underneath the eye sac. And then in the corner of the eye up here, it'll also be pretty dark around the nose. And then come up to the bridge. <clears throat> so right now, once again, we're just sculpting it out. <clears throat> we're getting it started. Not making tons of progress yet. But I have no fear. We'll get it going. Over here, where the eye sac is on this part, I'm gonna come up on the shadow side here, and it's gonna be a lot lighter right above it. I'm taking small strokes, scumbling, and I'm starting off too dark, and then I'll add some head, uh, highlights. All right. I thought this was gonna be an eye show. Hold on, eye show's coming up. Before we do the actual inside of the eye, though, we wanna get some other stuff going on. And I'll even add a little bit of magenta to get some color in the skin. Mm, makes it a little more interesting looking. Uh, magenta, raw sienna. A little more color. Not tons, but that's okay. And here, coming around there. Darker in this area, that little magenta. All right, she's... Now for the highlights in there, I'll add a tint of it. A little bit of the uh, white and the magenta. Maybe a little bit of the raw, raw umber or the raw sienna as well. Tap that in there a little bit. Lighten it up. It's like on makeup. I used to wear makeup in the 80s. Mascara. A little eyeliner, you know. <clears throat> it was the 80s. All right, so now I'm gonna come in there and um, even add more highlights, building up slowly. And it's a little bit on the dry side. A little bit of water to the brush. Not too much though. And this is a base coat for the skin. It's a lot more color though. Yeah. Um, are you recording this? Yes, I am.
If this goes viral, you'll be part of the video. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm gonna do a little more magenta, a little more color in there. Now you can kind of see it starting to take form a little bit. All right, so, uh, and I'll change that later, so this is good enough for now. Uh, now I'll go back to the small round brush, and I'll start kind of sculpting out the eye lid. I'll take the brown, dark brown, a little magenta, and right in here, I'll go quite a bit darker, and I'll fade this up into this edge. Right above it, I'll keep that kind of flat, and much darker on this side. Scumble, scumble. Put some Corona juice on your finger. Blur it out. Using your finger works out pretty well. And down here, the eye sac, I'll go back in this, make this even a little bit darker. Maybe she's emo. Darker mascara. Okay. Now I'm about ready to attack the eyeball. All right, with the eye portion of itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a, dark, uh, with a base coat of the whole eye. So here's the key. The white part of the eye is skin tone plus cerulean blue plus gray. And that's your uh, whites of the eyes, which really aren't white. Now I'll get some more gray in there. Out of black. I'm mixing off screen. It'll be mysterious when you actually finally see it. And I like to go too dark at first, on purpose again, because no matter what you're doing, whether it's skin or whatever else, you want to start dark and add light values to things. All right, so I'll get this as a base. I'll just try it real quick. It's decent. All right, so this color is going to represent white of the eye. Yes, skin tone in it, plus blue, plus gray. Or you can leave it like that if you're into blind people. I'd hate to be blind. I'd be kind of a blind art teacher. That wouldn't be good. I don't know how you'd grade. All right, so now I'm gonna do uh, what color eyes uh, it looks like the other one's blue. I can still go blue. Blue-ish, though. All right, so now I'm going to do, like, the dark rings. Remember, oh, this is all part of that uh, graphite part, so it's the same thing. So you use a circle template. And then, or we just fix it later. So now I got that in there. It's a little bit squatty, not totally around. Gotta work on fixing that. All right, that's decent. It's a little big, iris, but you're better off being a little bit too big than uh, too small. Too small, that's kind of bizarre. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of map out where the pupil is, right in the center of the eye, obviously. I'll blur it out into the shadow of the top part of the eye. So it's not like a, a solid circle, which is what we did in graphite as well. We did that using a blending stuff, if you remember right. All right, so now I got, you know, some of that a little bit darker. Now the reflection of the eye, light source is coming here. So the light source is this way. Darkest part of the eye is going to be on this side. Lightest part's over here. So I'll do blue, but not just pure blue, though. you got to mix it up. Do brownish blue. That might be kind of magical. Add a little black to it. Could even go green, you know? All right, so here's my next coat. This is gonna be too dark on purpose. Then as it comes around here, I'm gonna start lightening up as it comes all the way around. Darker up here on the top. Then right here, I'll light stop that blend. Now I'll add a tint of it, a little more white. Okay, now I got more white in there. Then I'll come in and add a little more blue as well. On the eye part, you want to spend a decent amount of time on this, on the iris. 
should take you a chunk of time. This is like the fast magic show speed. Go a lot slower, otherwise it will look terrible. Coming all the way around there. And I don't like the shape of the eye. It's a little bit squatty. I'll like fix it up later though. This is good enough for this show. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into the blue and more white, a little variety, and maybe some green. Ooh, a little permanent green. Man, that's gonna be crazy. All right, so I'm gonna a little bit of green here. Um, that color there looks pretty good. Tap that in there a little bit. Now you can see all the layers that I'm putting in there. Now I could stop there, but wait, there's more. And I'm gonna put some brown in there, just because I can. A little brown, sure. Blend it up in there so it's kind of a hazel almost color. Tap that in there. Put some light to dark over there. Now for the pupil, I'll go back into that. Make that hella dark. All right, so I got the pure black for the pupil, and, and this has got to be like totally round, dead center. Circle templates might be nice. Then I'll do the shadow above it. Shadow the eyelid uh, going onto the eye is right there. Then I'll scumble it. Nice smoother arc. And smoother arc here. It's a dark ring around the eye, so it's gonna be like darkish. And to blend that out now, what I'm gonna do is take clean water, scumble the brush in there. All I do is wetten the, the brush a little bit and you can blend the old paint. All right, so now I'm gonna take the black, lure some of the pupil out into the iris. If you remember when I did, we did the demonstration on the eye, it took like all period. It's, oh yeah, so obviously this is gonna, a few little issues here and there, but not bad. All right, so I got that. So now I'm ready to work on the whites of the eyes. Whites of the eyes, I already have the base. Now I'll do a tint of a glaze of white. So this is a glaze. And so it's, you know, barely, it's translucent, but only a little bit though. It's not pure white, by the way. And that's good for that part. All right, then what I'm gonna do is uh, down here in the tear duct, I'm gonna take burnt sienna and maybe a little bit of red. Not too much, otherwise, it should look like a stoner. Just a little bit of red, like pinkish brown. Burnt sienna, I ran out of burnt sienna. It's like a Greek tragedy. All right, burnt sienna, <clears throat> dot of red, and then I'll put that right here in the corner little tear duct, and you can even have that pinkish brown go into the, the rest of the eye just a little bit. All right. There really is a lot of details in this thing. All right, corner of the eye. See how it's a little white right there? I'm going to take a shadow of this color. And then I'll knock this back by making it really dark so it goes like an eyeball, so it goes around the thing. All right, so then, almost done. I think I only have four minutes left. All right, so now I'm gonna get pure white. Reflections. Yeah, reflections are gonna be up here somewhere. Shapes of the reflections, not just dots. I'll just, I'll do another little guy here, over there, and then I can do a little bit on the bottom here. Oh, don't cry, don't cry. Oh, she's going to cry. I'll dry her eye a little bit. All right, so then we have that part. I need to show the thickness of the lower eyelid. Do that. I'll mix up a tint of tan skin color. 
little bit of skin, lower portion of that. And if I had time, I got two minutes. All right, I'm gonna shadow color over here. I'll do a little bit of a glaze to get that eyelid kind of floating around. Darker over here and flick it up. Dark over here, just a little bit. <clears throat> now I'll do some uh, eyelashes. Eyelashes are kind of tricky with paint. Oh, mainly dark and hazy blurry. Just like you learned in graphite. So let's watch this. I'm not gonna do individual eyelashes though. Blurry chunks. Blurry, hazy. No individual eyelashes, otherwise it'll look really fake. Just trying to show fake eyelashes. Like the kind of glue on or whatever. Maybe I'll do that for how long. Down here on the bottom, also get a little bit of uh, eyeliner. All right. That's the uh, eye show. And that is how you pretty much get the eye done. You can take more glazes, go over with more layers, but that is how to do an eye.